Hello, and welcome back to another Lolita dress review. In this video, we will be taking a look at Crane Time Travel or Time Travel Crane by Fallen Phoenix Lolita, or Luan Luan as it's known on Taobao. Unlike most of the dresses in my wardrobe, this dress comes in a single cut and colorway, the JSK that you see on your screen. However, there are a ton of additional accessories as well as this absolutely adorable matching his and hers Haru set. Despite the fact that it only comes in this one cut and colorway, I still was able to get the full set including the blouse, the waist chain, and other accessories that you see on your screen. So we do still have a whole lot to talk about, and without further ado, let's move right into it. Like many of the dresses that are in my wardrobe, this is a chi style dress, meaning that it takes inspiration from traditional Chinese wear. I really do love this style, even though it's not particularly popular, as many people find chi very hard to style. Personally, I don't think that it is, but even if it is hard to style for some people, I think it can be made easier by picking up a lot of the matching accessories. Taking a look at this JSK, it's shaped more like your typical standard JSK, instead of one that's more high-waisted, which is common in Chi as well. As you can see, the straps are pretty typical of those of JSKs, and there's this very nice, very vibrant red lace on the sides. There's also tons of gold trim on the bodice, and you can see some of the designs of the cranes. There's a gorgeous waist bow on the dress that can be removed, as well as several hanging red beads. This dress has a very interesting color palette, primarily black with a lot of navy, red, and gold. There's also some pieces of white in there as well. As you can see, the lace at the bottom of the dress is this very shimmery black color. The back of the dress has corset lacing and as you can see there is a tiny bit of shearing in there as well. The corset lacing was done very tightly for me when it arrived so make sure that you adjust it before trying it on. Also of note, there is a zipper on the side to make putting it on a little bit easier. The print on the dress goes all the way around, so as you can see, the print on the back of the dress is the same as it is on the front. Looking across the bodice of the dress, you can see those beautiful crane motifs, which is really what drew me into this dress in the first place. They have a gold outline and they're see-through, so the cranes are not filled in, which makes them look a lot more beautiful in my opinion. As you can see, the many different colors on the basic design of the dress in there as well. There's also several other motifs and details, like these flowers. And several different types of gorgeous, beautiful shapes that you can see right here. Such as these three diamonds. Here's another one of the cranes. Another nice sakura petal. And what looks like a trail of petals at the bottom of the dress as well. There are so many gorgeous details on this dress. It's really beautiful the longer you look at it. It's quite elegant and one of the more elegant pieces that I have in my wardrobe, which is why I like it so much. It's not so overwhelmingly dark with all of the additional red and gold details and I really like that that adds a lot of splashes of color to the otherwise pretty dark dress. With all of the different colors of this dress, you can choose golds, whites, reds, blues, blacks, and you can even look into the Sakura petal motifs as it relates to the accessories that you choose. Here's the matching blouse that I got to accompany this dress. It also came in white, but I chose to get it in black because I thought it would suit most other things in my wardrobe besides just this dress. It's a short sleeve blouse with a Changsem collar, and there's a clip right here in the center, you sort of turn it to the side and that's how you unhook it. It's not that hard to do once you have it in your hands, but it's a little bit hard to explain when I'm just showing it in a video. The blouse is very soft as well and it's pretty comfortable. I think you can wear it in the summer pretty nicely without having to worry about overheating due to the short sleeves. Here's the matching jewelry that came with the dress, including the waist chain that you see right here. It's a gorgeous gold color with those sakura details. There are those sakura petals again, as well as some lovely red beads. 
Here's the matching necklace. It also has some white and red beads hanging from it, and flower petal patterns as well. It also looks like there are two cranes sitting on the necklace as well. If you find Chi Lolita a bit hard to coordinate, I definitely recommend picking these up, as it can make coordinating a whole lot easier when you have something to reference. Overall, I'm quite happy with this purchase. I've worn it out a couple of months ago, and it was very, very comfortable. I didn't have any issues coordinating it at all either, and I think you can come up with a lot of different coordinates as well with this. I especially think there are tons of different types of socks, tights, or OTKs that you can use with this dress, specifically from one of my favorite brands, Yidra. That features a lot of designs that would go well with this dress in my opinion. I would definitely check them out if you're unfamiliar with them. Definitely don't regret this purchase. Thank you for watching and be sure to tune back in for more Lolita dress reviews in the future.